All right, so we're going to look at the boxes here for Scherzo in book three. Um, so really the first box isn't really a box on the page. It's the bow stroke we're going to use, right? So we want this to be kind of in between the balance point and the middle of our bow, okay? Um, and when you play it up to speed, it'll sound like this. Right, so it's, it's on the string, but it's got a little bit of space in it. Um, so to practice this, you're just gonna work on that on an open string. And to start, you'll start just by doing little teeter-totters, right? The goal on this is to rock back and forth without touching the other string, right? So we're gonna do it on the D string. We wanna rock so we can get to the A, without touching the A string, without touching the G string. We're gonna rock back and forth as far as we can. Um, and then the next step is gonna be to just add a little bit of movement from our elbow, okay? And the combination of that rock with the movement of our elbow will give us that bow stroke that we want. So then we go fast. Right? The combination of those two will create um, the, the kind of articulation that we're looking for. Okay? So start it really slow. Okay? And really make sure it's coming. You can have a fluid wrist, but the motion itself is coming from the elbow. And a little bit of flexibility in the fingers and a little bit of rocking. Okay, but it's more like a, if you think about like the jellyfish or like a whip, if I move this, this is gonna move, right? But the motion, the muscle that's doing it is coming from the elbow, right? It's the biceps and the triceps that are doing it, okay? So that's the first thing. The next spot, we're just gonna kinda isolate shifts. Okay, so the first box will be measures 10 and 11, right? So, okay, just follow the fingering that's there. Um, next one will be just that whole third line, so 13 to the end of the line. So, make sure we really bring out those fourth sondos. Okay, and then the next one will be measures 28 and 29 okay um and then that's the all of them for the first page and then we'll go to the minimoso right this is going to be a slower tempo and our first box there is going to be measure 42 so we have Right, so we just want to make sure we get this extension as we shift up in the second position. So our first finger only travels a half step, but the rest of our hand travels a whole step. So we're just going to practice that since it's kind of tricky. Right, I messed it there. Okay, nice and tuned C. Um, next one, so that's 42 to the downbeat of 43. And then we're going to do 45 all the way until the odd tempo at 49. So. Okay, so this shift here up to this B is a new finger, new bow, which means we start the shift on the new bow with our third finger down. Not a huge, but we're just going to bring in a little bit, and then that box goes all the way. Two more measures, so it's, the whole thing is this. And make sure we give a little bit of time, right? Because we have that poker retard in measure 48. Okay. All right. Next box is going to be measure 53. Similar. The difference with this one is it's going to be old finger, old bow for this big shift here that's coming. Okay. Um, so that means you shift on the old finger on the old bow. So we're gonna not be shifting in the new bow at all. Okay. Um, and that's all of it for the Minimoso. And then same boxes repeat, um, right? So we have a box that's the same as the box we did on the first page at 68 and 69. 
71 and 73 as well. Um, the only new box is just going to be the last three measures, so you're going to be... Okay, so that's how the very end goes, and that's our last box for this. Okay. Um, so yeah, those are the boxes for Scherzo. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Okay.